हेलो वेलकम फ्रेंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल एन एस ऑटोमेशन आज के इस वीडियो में विल डिस्कस हाउ वी सेलेक्ट द डेट इन सेलेनियम वेब ड्राइवर और डेट फील्ड्स को कैसे सेलेक्ट किया जाता है कैसे उसमें डेट प्रोवाइड की जाती है विल सी राइट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द वीडियो बेसिकली इन सेलेनियम वेब ड्राइवर वी हैव टू वेज टू सेलेक्ट डेट फील्ड आइदर वी कैन यूज सेंड कीज और जावा स्क्रिप्ट एग्जीक्यूटर क्लास टू सेलेक्ट द डेट so these these two method are used for the different scenario let me show you this thing on the web application now let's suppose this is the web application demo.automationtesting.in where we have a date field over here if you can see uh, i have two types of date fields over this application where one where i can only select the value from the calendar drop down right so basically is a date picker uh, calendar where i can pick any of the date from the calendar only right i am not able to write anything over here right i cannot do anything so i can select the date by using the this collect calendar option in the second one i can either select from the calendar or i can type as well right if i want to type so i can type as well right so like i want to select 15 date or 2021 so i can select from here right or enter this text right so basically the these are the two types of things right if you have date picker uh, date picker as an input box where you can provide your inputs that you can use this send keys command and if you don't have any option to uh, enter the value so you have to select the value from the calendar drop down and if you have to select the value from the calendar drop down then you need to use the java executor so let's see both the things in the code we here i have the code where right now i will execute uh, the code uh, for the text box if i have a text box somewhere and i want to put the value so i will use the send keys command that i have shown you if you have option to enter the value there you will use the send key command how can you use this so basically i have another application where i have to put the date right so let me show you first the application which i have so this is my application where i need to select the value right here i can put the value as well because i i can enter the value over here so what i will do i will inspect this and will create the web element for this text box so i have an date picker uh, id is there so i can use the id with or i will create the css i can do anything i will create the locator and then i will enter the value right using the same but this date field is inside a frame right so first i need to switch into the frame and then i need to provide the value right so let's see the code so basically i have uh, launched the application then i just wait for 2 seconds right so that i can see the web application now i have created the uh, frame frame uh, selectors right so basically how can i use the that one the i have the demo frame class is there i am using the class demo frame and then i am able to create the locator right so basically i have created the locator of i frame and then with the help of this locator i am able to switch into the frame so basically this is the frame elements and then i am switching into the frame so driver dot switch to dot frame and this i frame element. now once i switched into the frame i will you again i will create the locator for the date input box so i have created the uh, locator for the date picker uh, you can see i have the basically here the id over there i have created the css for that input hashtag uh, date picker that is the id and this is the shortcut for id so i have created the locator and then i have, with the help of the find element i am storing this web element in this new element and with the help of new element dot send keys i'm able to put the value into this text box after providing the i'm just switching back to the parent frame so let me run this and you can see that how it's providing the value on the web application so you can see here the date is provided into that text box right so this is how the value is provided into that text box right 
now i will show you again a different way all right suppose we have this application where we don't have this state picker enabled so what i will do i will use the javascript executor class to provide the value into this right so how can i provide this value into this uh, let's see this code so basically here i have created another class for this and here i am selecting the value into this now i have launched the browser i have applied a 3 second of wait now now i will create the uh, javascript executor instance by type casting that javascript executor interface into the web driver so here i have type casted this uh, javascript executor into the driver and then with the help of the driver i will find the element and put the value so basically here i have used the uh, id a date picker 1 uh, is the id of that uh, you can see the id of this you will get to know that the date picker 1 is the id of this so here you can see the date picker 1 is the id of this now with the help of this i have created the locator and then i have finding the element and storing that web element into the date element now i have taken as a string date right as a date as a string and now i am using the javascript executor method js dot execute script and here i'm providing the value as a date so basically i'm using argument dot set attribute and here i provide the value and what type of value so i have because my value is in form of a string so i have provided this into a string like so basically this is how i have provided the value now on which web element so i have just provided the element where i need to set this value and it will at the background it will set the value from this pointer right so this is how we can select the value with the help of the javascript executor if you not able to provide the value or enter the value let me run this code and you can see how this code is working on the web application so now when you check that the application is launched and it will select the value at the background right so it will select the value from the so now the value is selected from the that drop down right so these are the way in selenium to select the value uh, you can use either any way uh, if there is a text box you can use send keys if they you do not have, have any text box then you can use the java script executor interface to select the value that's all for today's session if you think guys this video is really helping so you can just like my video and subscribe my channel for the updated selenium topics and the topics related to the automation thank you guys bye bye thanks for watching this video